I've been watching a few people uh, build some project bikes, cafe racers, and um, there's a few tricks that will make life a little bit easier uh, when they go to start it up. The first, uh, the first trick is priming the carburetor, and um, if you don't prime the carburetor, meaning that you service the carburetor, rebuild them, and you drain the bowls, or you know, play with the jets, or open up the carburetor, whatever the case, um, it can take a whole battery to produce the uh, the vacuum needed to fill the bowls up again. Um, there's an easier way to do it where it fires up on on one on one uh, on one push of the button and uh, the way to do that is to jump the uh, jump the uh, fuel pump relay um, basically on the uh, VFR or the RC 36 uh, it doesn't matter which model it is or year uh, the fuel the fuel pump relay is on the side of the is on the left hand side in the rear next to the turn signal relay and what you want to do is take the harness off and you'll see a black wire and a black blue wire now on the on the uh, VFR the green is the ground so these are these are hot wires these are wires coming out of the relay um, but what you want to do is take a wire, just a simple, uh, you know, 8, 10, 15, 16 gauge wire. Strip off the ends so that, um, you know, um, what you'll have is the harnesses like that. You stick the wire in here, and on the end, you stick the wire in there. And that, what you do is you bridge it. And it, it just doesn't go through the relay. And what you're doing is you're putting 12 volts right into the fuel pump. Fuel pump will then um, begin to turn on, and you'll hear it. And it will start pumping fuel at high pressure into the carburetor, filling the bowls, and it fills it enough so that when you push the ignition button, the jet on the first on the first crank will just suck the fuel up and it'll fire right up. You don't have to burn your battery out and you don't have to sit there and crank the pistons for five minutes. Just prime the fuel pump, just take the relay off or put 12 volts right on the fuel pump. If you put 12 volts on the, on the fuel pump, that too will cause the fuel to uh, prime the carburetors. Um, so basically, there's two methods. The first method is the fuel pump. You want to put 12 volts on there. I use a jump box, you know, jump box alligator clips. You can, um, you can also use a battery, but uh, I don't know how you get the wires on there. Maybe jumper cables. I use a like I said, I use a I use a jump box. You can use alligator clips, whatever. Second method is the fuel cutoff relay or the fuel pump relay. It's a safety switch. Safety switch there so that uh, you know once you cut off the ignition or whatever, it cuts the fuel. Um, it's part of the safety circuit on the VFR. Most bikes have them and um, the wiring on most bikes is different so you know just go with the fuel pump the fuel pump method put 12 volts on the fuel pump and use a jump box because it's safest um, the other the other thing I noticed that a lot of people were doing besides the uh, carburetors uh, prime the carburetor I, 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 I make the mistake myself until I Start started checking my fuel pumps and everything and then I noticed that uh, you know they're pretty easy pretty easy to manipulate or to bypass um, brake pistons brake pistons the same 
you know when you rebuild the master cylinder and slave it's just a pain to sit there and pump hundreds of times to fill up the entire line just take a uh, just take a little bottle of see it calls for DOT 4 I use DOT 3 you know I've never had a problem with it but um, I don't know that's just me um, if you have a, uh, a slave or a piston um, take the banjo take the banjo nut off and pour the reservoir fill uh, with brake fluid so fill the entire reservoir put the banjo nut back on and put the uh, brake line you know and then uh, tighten it down and then um, begin to prime it begin to prime it until the lines fill it'll probably take about 20 20 to 50 pumps on there rather than a couple hundred <laughs> um, but fill the entire reservoir all up and then on your bleeder valve here the bleeder valve let's say this is a slave let's say that's a slave on a hydraulic clutch um, you'll have a bleeder valve right here um, it's usually a, a, a 10 millimeter uh, nut right here to open it I just stick a I stick a aquarium not an aquarium but it's it's gonna be an 8 millimeter uh, stick an 8 millimeter silicone aquarium hose right on here right on the bleeder valve you can use a, uh, a velcro I use a velcro tie cable tie um, or you can hold it you can hold it with your finger but it's kinda difficult when you're opening the uh, the bleeder valve you have to press the clutch so you depress the clutch depress the clutch or brake you open the bleeder valve and then you attach the well the hose should be on there already and I use the velcro tie to make it real tight and it doesn't slip off but um, to stick the hose in your mouth man I mean it's it's so quick you know you can do it in like 10 seconds stick the hose in your mouth and just give it a little suck I mean you don't have to suck the hell out of it just just a little suck you'll suck all the air out and then you want to close up you want to close the uh, you want to close the, uh, the 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 bleeder valve after. So when you depress the clutch, you you press the clutch. This is the brake, but let's pretend this is the clutch. You press the clutch, open the bleeder valve, suck it out with your mouth, close the bleeder valve, let go of the clutch, and you don't really need to do it again because you just sucked pretty much everything out of it. Um, you'll suck enough where you'll have to fill up the reservoir but don't don't suck it in your lungs okay just just make sure the the line is about three feet just make sure that hose is three feet and it should be all right but uh, you could do your clutch you could do the two brakes in about a minute you know if you know what you're doing you could do it in about a minute and um, you know just spit it on the grass that's what I do I just spit it right in the grass and I'm done and um, if I bleed the entire reservoir I will just get a long hose and just suck everything right out of it I mean that's that's all you need to do suck everything out of it and then fill it up suck out more fill it up suck out more and just dump it all and it's done with you just flush the whole system um, that's how you do the carburetor that's how you do the brakes what else do you need to do? Um, I don't. Uh, oh, yeah, the brakes. Right, so it's the carburetor and the brake calipers, both the slave and the master. Um, that's just how you bleed it real quickly with a hose. It is a vacuum method, gravity method will really screw your world up vacuum method it can cost a hundred dollars for a vacuum pump 
but I just use like six feet of you know I just buy like for two dollars six feet just put the whole thing on your mouth and just suck it out real quick you could do the whole reservoir with six feet of line without you know uh, risking sucking it in your mouth and um, just stick it up to a hose after and just run water through it and then that's it that's done with it and then uh, the silicone you know the brake fluid doesn't really harm the silicone either so uh, that's just a cheap way and a really effective way to uh, bleed the res reservoir and flush the system because um, you know you want to keep your brakes optimal and um, you know change the brake pads and change the uh, the fluid in there uh, ASAP you know as soon as you can just clean out everything your seals will last longer and everything will be you know in tip-top shape um, that's it already